In this video, we're going to look at multi-select, layers, and groups. By using the control key in Windows or the command key on the Mac, you can now multi-select both within the editor view and in the list view. In the list view, you can also use the shift key to multi-select several items at the same time. When items are multi-selected, they move and size together, they are copy and pasted together, and they can be moved in the list together. Multi-selecting is also how you create layers and groups. You do that by selecting several objects and then selecting Add to Layer or Add to Group. In this case, we're going to create a layer. To add additional items to an existing layer, you just drag and drop them into the layer in the left-hand pane. Note that you can open and close layers and groups in the left-hand list view by clicking the icon for the item in the list, allowing you to organize your list view. Layers and groups are similar in that they're both collections of objects within a scene, but they operate quite differently. First, let's take a look at layers. A layer is a loose collection of objects that exists in the 360 sphere, the same as all of the other objects in the sphere. If you move or size a layered object, it does not have a positional relationship to other objects in the layer. The layer simply provides an organizational level for your objects, as well as a single target such that you can show or hide the layer with a single action rather than having multiple actions for each object within the layer. You can also target each individual object within the layer as well as the layer itself. Groups, on the other hand, are for closely related objects and are displayed on a single plane with other objects in the group. So, for instance, in this group, which has two objects, it is on its own plane within the sphere, allowing you to line the objects up relative to each other. Moving the group around maintains the relationship between the objects while moving the containing plane around the sphere. Moving the objects within the sphere individually changes the dimensions of the plane and thus will change the relative center point of the plane. Another important use of groups is to set them to fixed position, allowing you to retain the relative position between objects no matter what your field of view is or what device you are viewing it on. This also allows you to create things like a heads-up display within your scenario. 